Hi there, this is the one, the only, Stray Cat, and this is New Vegas, Episode 9. Alright, when we left off, I was actually further up in the building, but I didn't want to force you guys to watch me lose myself trying to get out of there, so I'm actually going to do this little thing here that I forgot to do on my way in, which was hack a little bit. Hearing was way off. Okay. Now we know that. Um, let's try something completely different. Origins. Still way off, but it looks like the eye is the one spot that is the same in there, so we're going to be looking for something like hurting or machine. Machine's closer, but no cigar. Um... Hmm. I'm going to keep looking for spots. Well, dud remove. We know that one's not right. Keep looking for duds. Because then... Whoop. Allowance replenished. Cool. Let's see. Is there any other spots to get rid of duds? Nope. Okay. Say machine was two as opposed to the rest of them, which were just one. Um, huh. Bastion? Hey! That is awesome right there. Awesome sauce. Let's go on and disengage the lock here. So let's just walk into here. Whoop. Door slapped us in our face, but that's okay. And Bison Steve maintenance key. I could have used that earlier to open up that one locked spot. Uh, empty syringe, stim packs, don't need dirt or water. Blood packs. In Fallout 3, they would be useful. Here, not so much. Oh shit, I don't have average lock picking skill yet. Do need uh, that would be nice. Grilled Mantis. Uh, scotch and Sunset Sarsaparilla, always good stuff. Speaking of which, I'm going to down a scotch for right now. And what's my uh, H2O at? 128. Uh, I need to find a good source of water soon. Uh, okay. Medics, medics, medics is always good. Do I really need another 9 mil? I already have three kept in reserve now. It never hurts to have another, but I'm going to turn this down right now. Since I'll need to come back here later, I'll just have that as a little souvenir that I can pick up anytime. Whoop. Come on. There we go. Pack of cigarettes. I can sell those. And. Whoop. Another pack. Get out of here now. Go and sell all the stuff we just looted off of their corpses to. Jonathan Johnson Nash. I don't remember his name. John Nash. Yeah, it worn off. I know. It wore off, not worn. Come on, Tom. You know grammar. You're a writer. Alright. Hmm. Episode's going good so far. At least recording for it. Doesn't mean it's going actually good. Howdy. I'm trying to look for him, which is always difficult when he's... Oh, there he is. Walking around like this. Hey, youngster. Still hey hanging yo. about Prim, huh? Uh, need to sell you stuff. See what I can get off of you. Hmm. Not a lot, it looks like. Um. Mm -hmm. Is there any stuff I can buy that I can use? Maybe? Doesn't look like a lot. Um, I already pretty much got all of the stim packs. Um, the service rifle would be good, but it's not that good. Uh, the varmint rifle is a little better right now. Comparatively. I forgot how to pronounce that word for five seconds. 
Um, hmm. There's gotta be something I can sell you. I can just take the money back. And that works too. That works a little bit. So anything else? Um, I could start collecting cards. That'd be nice. Be something good to do, wouldn't it? Let's see if there's any others I can pick up from you. Not yet. Let's go further down, see if there's anything there. <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. That's about it. Shit. That's that'll that'll work, I guess. We'll sell absinthe. We don't need that. Well, not yet. <laughs> we need to save that for a good time. And why do I have three cups? I don't remember picking up three cups. Jesus, Hubert Christ. There we go. Oh, and we've pretty much taken all of his caps already. Um. Yeah, I'll we'll accept that for now. Give me a shout if you need anything oh, else. That was a weird little thing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. Addy. Not do that. Instead, I'll go back to uh, Good Springs. See if there's anything there that I can pick up that'd be good for me. Um. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I think. Doesn't mean it is. Uh, Nipton. Uh, Mojave Outpost will be what we next go to. And Good Springs. There we are. Alright. Freeside was built up around the intersection of Fremont Street and Las Vegas Boulevard. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> He has a bat through his chest. That's so weird. Okay, that's a weird little glitch. That was funny, though. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Trudy! Morning. Morning, but what? Ringo, what the Thanks fuck are you doing? Thanks again for all your help. Ooh. Fucking no cob. Thought it blew his head off. Oh well, I'll just carry him to the back room. Oops. And just drop you in there. Whoop. There you go. Keep all the people in the bathroom company. Scotch is worn off. I'm sure it has. Ringo, what the fuck did you? God, damn it, dingus. Oh, there you are. You know, Trudy. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. I bet you do. Show me what you got for sale. Got a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Woo! Gotta love that. All right, gecko steak. I'm gonna learn how to make those eventually. Uh, go down. I'll buy whiskey off you. Why not? Be nice. And moonshine, huh? That's a bit of a strong one there, huh? Pretty strong. Uh, purified water is always good. Uh, don't really need as much food. But I have plenty of that I can make. Um, let's see what go all the way down and work our way up. Um, varmint rifles. I need the extra there. Uh, switchblade, not so much. I can sell that. Um, Stealth boy, I uh, can use those, so don't need to sell them, especially when they're not that much weight. Uh, pack of cigarettes, and new colas, and let's see, what else is a lot of weight that I don't need? Uh, boy, well, the gecko meat for sure, yeah, but that I can at least use for stuff. Dinamite. Uh-oh. Uh. Don't need to drain her of all of it. Yeah, we'll call that good. 
Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, pleasure. Be careful out there. Yeah, I'll try. Now I'll uh, talk to Doc Mitchell and get some of his stuff. This is just gonna. This episode is gonna be titled "Selling Shit." That's basically what it's gonna be titled. Cause that's all I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh God, I'm a hoarder. Howdy. Oh, hey, there you are. You looking to buy some supplies? I'm looking to sell some. All right. What do you got? Not much. You are useless to me. Oh, pistol scope, huh? Short range scope. Do I really need that? Do I? No, I would much more prefer having a uh, extended magazine. That would be better for me. Anyway. Not sure about the rest of you people. But for me, it would be nice. Because I'm always blasting away ammo. Um, hmm. Thing of spades, that's always good. Um, I could pick that up, but then I'd be overweight again. And impacts. Those I could use. And I can always ooh, use one to lose two. Alright. Now let's see what I can sell you. Submachine gun. There we go. Finally. Get that out of our inventory. And combat knife. That's nice. Let's see what else. Um, keep going down. Some of this is stuff we stole from... Uh, them over in Prim. You can't really sell it back to them because then they'd be a little angry. And understandably so. Uh, yeah, we'll call that good. Um, now let's sell him some pre-war money. And... The NCR box. Whoops. Too many. One too many there. Okay, and let's do one of those. Whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I'm dumb. And maybe one more. And one of those. There we go. That's the stuff. That's a weird Thanks. glitch. Um, goodbye. And we'll talk to Doc Mitchell now. Because we can always use extra doctor bags. Because that helps our limbs. We can't regenerate it with stim packs and sleep anymore. Because this is hardcore mode. Hardcore mode. And that was a weird little jitter. Mailbox. Tin can. Don't need that. Piece of shit. Dr. Doc Mitch. And I'll use the rest of the NCR money for that. Depending on... Whoop, whoop, there he is. Ah! How are you holding up? Pretty well. Uh, I need medical supplies. Sure. Doctor bags, hell yeah. Sell all those to you. And let's see what else. I don't really need all the... I don't need all the 20 gauges. And they're weighing me down quite a bit. Uh, and I, huh, don't really have the stuff I need to be making more pistol rounds either out of them, so, yeah, we'll just sell those to you, too. Put them in a shotgun, you know, that you need. Um, let's see, is there anything else that I can sell that I don't need right now? Um, the you know what, I'm just going to sell all of the dynamite, because I don't really use them since the beginning. So, I'm just going to sell them to them. And those I could use later when my food's really down. And... Sell you a stealth boy. 
because I don't need all of them. And yeah, we'll call that good. Goodbye. You take care now. I definitely will try. This should help, for sure. Alright, now we're actually able to do shit. Fuck yeah. How much weight we're sitting at? <laughs> I'm such a hoarder. Okay. 224 out of 245. That gives us a little wiggle room. And of course, we'll probably be making more room uh, blowing people's heads off. That's always fun, right? Right? Guys? Okay. Let's go to Prim. Come on. Press and hold your Pip-Boy button to turn the Pip-Boy light on and off. That was in the wrong order, but I don't care. Um, let's turn on a different quest. My kind of town. That way I can see... Uh, Which quest item spots I need to go? Quest requirement. That's the proper word, Tom. Jesus, Hubert Christ, you're a writer. Stop doing that. Being dumb. <laughs> okay. Now, that was the little minefield I would crossed earlier. Normally, there's, you know, a mine or two or three there when you first come to Prim, but... I'd cross that on my way in. Hello there. Whoa. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. How? Name's Malcolm. You Malcolm were coming Malcolm. to me. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. That's not what you should be doing. <sighs> Go on. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured okay. you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. Why didn't you say anything then and there? I had to make sure of your disposition. There's a lot of jumpy folks out there that'll shoot a man as soon as talk to him. Okay. Now that we're conversing, though, I can tell you what I know about those caps. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps mm -hmm. with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Okay. So where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all is kind of like root beer, isn't them, it? But somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some huh. say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than Hopefully. bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. Fair enough. You mentioned someone named Festus. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. Mm -hmm. That'll make him pretty damn old. It's I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. And they weren't the lying type either. So you collect the caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. Really? And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Now that sounds about right. What kind of treasure are we talking about here? No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. Fair enough. Thanks for the info, but I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. All right, then. Fair enough. Okay, that was weird. Now we'll talk to this guy over here, just so we know what the hell's going on with the NCR. Yeah? Uh, Prim is in dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point, and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. Mm -hmm. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. 
What do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. Mm -hmm. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. If you'd like to see the NCR include protection of Prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Mojave Outpost. That's where we need to go. Sir. For everything else. But, uh, we're gonna walk out of here because this is dreary. And stop it here. Alright, thank you all ever so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like listening to my illustrious voice. And you liked watching these videos. There will be more up every day to up d a day at the most. Well, at the least. And maybe a third randomly during the day. I don't know. Uh, it really would come up if uh, I find something interesting enough. And, you know, click the like button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And, you know, share, comment, whatever you want to do. Anyway. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, signing off.